Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about deep sleeping apps on your Samsung smartphone. So let me go to the settings. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So when I go to the settings, if I scroll down, if I go into my device care, and if I go into my battery, what I can then do is I can tap on app power management. When I tap on it, we have two options right here, sleeping apps and deep sleeping apps. Now to understand what deep sleeping apps are, First, we want to understand sleeping applications. So I'm going to tap on this. And here, first and foremost, let's just look at what's happening. I have two applications here that I added myself. It says user added to sleeping applications. And then two of them were automatically added. And the reason these were added is because I have this option enabled. This option says put unused apps to sleep when they haven't been used for a while. So when I go in here, these two applications, I haven't really touched them in a long time, so they just went in here so they don't waste my battery by running in the background, refreshing app data over and over. Now these two, I simply added as an example. So for example, right now I have Twitter here as a sleeping application, so these apps will not run in the background they may not receive updates or send notifications. That's to say, right now, if I look at my uh, task switcher, Twitter is not running right over here. It's not active. So right now, Twitter is in fact sleeping and it's not gonna be sending me any notifications because it's not gonna get any updates unless I go in and I launch the application. So here's the funny part. When I launch the application, Right now, if I tap the home button, and if I tap this button, you'll notice that Twitter is still running in the background right here. It's not closed, it is active. So right now, when I go into my device care, uh, to that same section, Twitter might, in fact, get a couple updates for me, okay? So it's just sleeping, it is not sleeping deeply. Remember, it is not closed, so when I tap over here, it is sitting right over here. So right now, it is active, it is not sleeping. When I go like this, it goes to sleep uh, in the sleep mode. Now when I go back over here and go into deep sleeping applications, and if I add the application, let me just add Twitter, so we're gonna, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about over here. So I'm gonna add Twitter, I'm gonna tap on add. Now here's the difference. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna tap on Twitter. Right now, uh, Twitter has woken up it is not in deep sleep anymore, but when I tap on the home button, it goes right back to deep sleeping. You don't have to actually close the application for it to go to deep sleep. It just goes to deep sleep the moment you exit the application. So it's deep sleeping, it's awake, it goes right back to deep sleeping, all right? And that's because we have it right over here. Where's that? Right there, right here under the deep sleeping application. So again, deep sleeping apps will never run in the background. They'll only work when you actually open them, all right? So let me delete this for a second so we make this crystal clear. Now over here, I'm gonna add Twitter one more time to regular sleeping applications, all right? So I'm gonna tap on add. So the applications, let's see. So I'm gonna kill this application as if nothing's happening. So right now, Twitter applications is sleeping. All right, and if I go over here, it's now awake, but when I press the home button, it is in fact still awake, all righty, unless, unless I actually swipe it away. But with the deep sleep, it just goes to sleep as soon as I exit the app by tapping the home button. So that's gonna be the big difference. It's a little hard to digest over here, but that's the difference between sleeping applications and deep sleeping applications, in case you guys are wondering, this feature is for somebody that is really a power user, wants to control every single thing that happens on your smartphone and potentially save some battery and also control your privacy. All right, so if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, have a fantastic day, guys.